Hi everybody, welcome to Line of the Week number 183, Motif Development Using Melodic Rhythms. It's time again to take a rhythm, add notes to it, and then improvise with it over tunes. This form of improvisation is called motif development. This week's line includes four specific motif development tools, variation, extension, fragmentation, and sequence. Variation means same melody, different rhythm, or same rhythm, different melody. Extension means adding notes before or after a motif or a motif fragment, Fragmentation means an identifiable part of the motif. Sequence means a repeating pattern. Before I get to the line of the week and so we're on the same page, here are the chords to the progression. The chords are G major 7 to A minor 7 to E flat diminished 7 to E minor 7 to F major 7, C major 7, A minor 7, D7, resolving to G major 7. Here are the chord scales I'm using in this week's line. The chord scales are D pentatonic to G major, E flat whole half, G pentatonic, C major, G major, G major, E flat melodic minor, D pentatonic. Here's the melodic rhythm I'm using this week. You can use this rhythm yourself to create your own motif and develop it in your own way in your own music. <laughs> Here's the line of the week with Guitar Pro backing I use to make sure I'm getting the notes and the rhythm accurate. Let's look specifically at the line of the week. In measure one, there's the original motif, meaning the melodic rhythm with notes that fit the harmony. Measure two contains mostly rest. Rest is important because it helps define the motif, like punctuation allows you to form a sentence. Measure three contains a variation of the original motif. In this case, the variation is the same rhythm and melodic curve, but different notes to fit the harmony. Measure four contains mostly rest. The end of measure four contains two eighth notes that form an extension moving into measure five. Measure five is a fragment of the original motif. The fragment is the last three time values of the original motif. Measure six contains another fragment of the original motif. Measure seven contains another fragment of the original motif. Measure 8 contains a variation of the original motif. Measure 9 contains a dotted half note extension to the motif to end the line. Also, measures 5, 6, and 7 contain a repeating fragment forming a pattern that you could refer to as a sequence. In conclusion, let me quickly shift gears an explanation of my fingerstyle technique is available on my store page at stuartjazz.com. All my major, pentatonic, melodic, minor, and diminished shapes are included in my instructional video and accompanying PDF files. The PDF files contain regular notation, tab, left hand fingering, right hand fingering, hammer-ons, and pull-offs. The video and PDF files are $10. Your purchase helps support the channel. So that's all for this week. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.